Race 9 is the Go Racing in Kildare Maiden. And let's get a little at the field for this one. It's a two and a half more this time, so this is the longest distance race of the week on the flat. And at the top we've got Driveway for Obi-Wan, Forceful Entry for Craig Allen, George Orwell for Paul Rhodes, Three Cast Richer for Satyam, Alessia Ransom for Thomas Rogers, Bluebell Chester for David Robertson, Ferozzi Nickers for Dan Hughes, Heavens Riches for Craig Beck with Jump to Mexico, Leon Van Rensburg, Ribbons, Bishops for Adam Old and Total Delight for John Morgan. So there'll be some Ascot Gold Cup types in this, I'm sure. Some of those big name trainers are almost like a Gold Cup horse and we're ready to go and away we go. As they settle down through the first fur or so, we'll see who's going to be the one to take them along. Looks like it's going to be Satyams again. Tree Case Richard has come through to take it up. We're on George Orwell in second. It's one of Paul Rhodes' new sets of silks, I think. Ferozzi Nickers is after that one. And then Ribbons Bishops. Most of them are pretty tightly grouped at this stage, but Tree Case Richard has gone off into a pretty clear lead. A good five or six lengths clear of George Orwell in second. Forceful entry is back in third. Heavens Richard is fourth. Then Ribbons Bishops and jump to Mexico with Ferozzi Nickers. And Alessia Ransom is just the early back marker. And they're racing up the Ascot straight. They've got two miles to go. They've completed the first half mile. And a true case Richard is the only horse to have led so far. And he's a good six lengths clear. And bowling along nicely in the lead from George Orwell. Back in second. Fortal entries move through into a clear third. Then comes Ribbons Bishops after that one with on its outside. Heavens Riches jump to Mexico is the one widest on the track. The grey is Bluebell Chester for David Robertson. And the one tucked down on this near side rail is Total Delight. I think just to try and confuse me, that's John Morgan in his new colours towards the back and Adam Old's horse, Ribbons Bishops, who's got John Morgan's old colours on, so we'll get there with the season works its way up and we get used to it all, but it's Tree Case Richard who's clearing the lead. And a good six lengths to George Orwell and Force Full Entry. And we're now sharing second. Three lengths gap back then to Ribbons Bishops. And the rest of them are pretty tightly grouped headed by Heavens Riches. And just at the back still total delight on the inside rail. The tree case Richard is the clear leader. Only by three or so now though, as forceful entry moves into second place. George Orwell is third, and Ribbons Bishops is back in fourth. And then a gap of two lengths to the rest of them. They were now headed by Alessia Ransom, who's moved through nicely. And on that one's outside, jumped to Mexico. Tucked in between them, Heavens Riches wide on the track. The grey bluebell Chester, and then totally light now, driveway. Let's just drop her to the back. And only by a length or so. And it's Tree Case Richard who continues to show the way. They've got less than a mile to go now. And Tree Case Richard leads by two lengths to George Orwell, who's moved back up on the inside of Forceful Entry. Those two are now getting much closer to the leader. Almost got a leading group of three now. And it's just dropped off the back a little bit. It's driveway. But it's Tree Case Richard, who's clear in the lead still, but only by a length. Also, to George Orwell, who's second. Forceful entry's just hit a bit of a flat spot and is now dropped back to the rest of them. Jumped to Mexico's moving on nicely into fourth. For Rosie Nickers also looks to be going quite well. So too does the grey bluebell Chester on the outside of Heaven's Riches. That one's not out of it. And also starting to make a move now. His total delight under pressure. Ribbons Bishops is dropping back a little bit. Alessia Ransom has also got work to do. And I think driveway is probably out of it as they swing past the four furlong pole and start to make the long sweeping turn into the Ascot straight and it's Tree Case Richard still but now being strongly pressed by George Orwell and here comes Total Delight and jump to Mexico the big guns are starting to come then comes Heavens Richard's forceful entries drop tamely away Bluebell Chester is still running on but a little bit one pace as George Orwell hits the front George Orwell in front with two furlongs to go it's George Orwell by about a head to Total Delight jump to Mexico these three are beginning to power it out now up the straight there's a furlong and a half to go and Total Delight's hit the front Total Delight in the lead but George Orwell's 
smiling back on the inside. Jumps to Mexico on the outside. Still running on his heaven's riches, but it's totally light in front. Totally light by length, and totally light looks to be pulling away now. Totally light for John Morgan. He's racing up towards the line. Totally light's in front, but George Orwell's having one last lunge on the inside, but totally light's actually George Orwell's second. Heaven's riches run on to be third, then jump to Mexico. And all the way back to Ribbons Bishops, who was the last one to finish. And John Morgan's total delight takes it. An immediate anti post favourite for the Ascot Gold Cup coming from Matt's table. And George Orwell will fancy his chances in a rematch, I think. He didn't beat him by that much. And Heaven's Riches wasn't too far away in third either, so. Good race that one. Totally like for John Morgan, the winner. George Orwell for Paul Rose was second. Heavens Riches, Craig Beck with third. Jumped to Mexico for Leon Van Rensburg was fourth. And Bluebell Chester for David Robertson was fifth.